Good afternoon, uh, this is Tina. In this video, we are gonna show you how to serve a HTML file using HTTP. Okay, so now uh, let's go to our code. Uh, I already create a simple H uh, sorry, HTML file. Here, I already create a HTML file here. Very simple. And now we have to create an HTTP server. Okay, here I will using app.js, okay? And uh, in this server, since we are using HTTP, so first we have to have an HTTP, right? The core module. Okay, require this one. Require, then here we're using HTTP. And the full HTML, we're gonna read and send it back. So here we're gonna have a file system okay and how to create a server HTTP create a server and here we can we give a callback function which have a request response right and eventually we have to listen and you can give any port number you want and optionally you can also give a host and we can also give a callback function okay which is when it uh, when the our server is ready then you will see this uh, message. And once we see this message, we know our server is ready. So here we're gonna do is first, we will read this file, which is index.html, right? So const HTML, we can use in file system that read from file from sync, right? And here I don't know using the path. Okay, I want to keep it simple. So here I just using this one. And here we can using res.end and using HTML back. Since we are just returning HTML, what we can do is using res.write head. Okay, write head. We can give what's the status code and what's the header, the information. Okay. We will return 3000 and what's ahead? I will set content type. Yes, we are using what text HTML. Okay, and uh, that's it. And uh, uh, you optionally can have a call, call uh, try, catch, all the things. Okay, we don't do that. So let's run uh, node app.js. Okay, now it's running. So we are using Firefox, okay? And we will give localhost 3000 and to see if uh, we actually can get the values. Okay, now you see the values and uh, this is uh, display for, because HTML, right? HTML, we are rendering everything on the body. So this is how you serve an HTML so far. And uh, in the future lecture, we will make our HTML to be dynamic. But here, uh, can you see any problem now? Suppose if our HTML file or uh, the, the information we send back to the uh, client side is huge, very, very big. Can you do like this way? No, we cannot do like this way, right? Because everything gonna be in the memory. It cannot be at once. So the ne next video, uh, we are gonna show you a better way to handle those uh, uh, bigger files uh, into our browser, which means uh, how, to how to send a very huge file to the browser side, okay? Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.